What's up everybody, it's Ongler. Welcome to the video, glad to have you here. Today, we're taking a look at a mod for Fallout 4 called Pine Needle Rest Player Home. So, here's where I am. Just want to show you guys really fast here. It's not, actually not too far from the sanctuary. And just over here is the cabin. And there is Vault 111 where we spawn in. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is head over to this backpack because it's really important. And then, as you see here, there are cabin keys. You're going to need those to get inside the cabin. Then I noticed that there's a uh, legendary shotgun here I want to pick up as well because you know what? Free legendary. Why the heck not? All right, so there's a diary here as well along with a body if you need loot for some reason. And as you can see here, this message is basically telling you before you enter this area, make sure you at least interact it with a settlement at least once because if you don't, then it won't show up on the send list for your companion. So make sure you just, you know, interact with the settlement at least once if you're starting a new playthrough. Okay, and so once we head inside of the robo, as you can see, there's this awesome cutscene where you're just kind of looking around, seeing what's up. And for some reason, when I saw this, I kind of had flashbacks of Skyrim when you first start, you know, you're in the carriage or whatnot, but you can actually take a little scenic ride here, look around a couple times and as you can see, it's going to take us right to the player home. Just as a quick side note, when I first did this, I actually had to click on the location, so you might have to do that as well. And as you can see here, this message is telling you, you know, this is a good workshop, but if you build a lot here, some things might mess up. So I don't plan on building anything here personally, and I recommend you probably don't just to make sure things don't go haywire. But as soon as you enter, there was an uh, activatable, you know, campfire. Here's some cool little things. That's the actual workshop if you want to activate it. And then there's a nice little bench here. I'm just already amazed at the level of detail this player home has. And there's a well that has actual drinking water. I mean, who would have thought? Actual drinking water in a commonwealth, right? And I just really like the way this home looks. A little cabin. So if we wash our clothes here, we have a place to hang them up. And we also have a workout bench. And then if we head back here, there's like a little gardening place. I guess if you want to, you know, pl uh, plant some crops here or whatnot. Over here now, we have a generator. As you can see, we activate it. And well, first you need to inspect it. And then once you do, you can place a fusion core inside, which is pretty important because you'll get a message that says power to the bunker has been restored. So this is kind of step one of that process, which we'll talk about a little bit more uh, in the video. So right over here, we got our power armor station which actually this place is a really nice little area for it along with just some decoration and more storage i mean the amount of storage this place has in it is just whew, over the top so if you're ocd of where you place your items this house is definitely going to be for you and then i saw this jacuzzi i was like whoa this water looks nice and clean and crisp something you're not used to in the commonwealth you can actually well, drink if you wanted to but you can actually just sit down and take a rest inside of this jacuzzi. I mean, how cool is that? I just love the attention to detail here. And you can actually interact with those candles and activate them as well. So we're actually going to head inside of the house now. As you can see here, it has that nice little cabin feel to it. And this is kind of where the real exploration begins, I guess. Because there are so many places where you can store things. I was just talking about a moment ago. I was literally amazed at just how many different types of uh, storage compartments there were for all the items in Fallout 4. And you can actually pull out this chair, sit down, and have your you know little dinner right there. And over here is just a lot more storage. And I do have a lot of alcohol I seem to gather in you know when I'm my playthrough, so I could definitely store it here. And there's just a lot of more storage compartments. And I was talking about earlier. As you can see here, you can interact with the candles, light them, or not. You know, it's totally up to you. And I just like the little picture one not up there. This kitchen looks really, really good. It's small and compact just the way I like it. And there is a freezer for us to store our items in if we wish. I mean, just the opening door is a wonderful touch in my opinion as well. And just all the extra attention to detail. Actually, that pie looks pretty good. Makes me want to go have a piece right now, but as you can see, dog meat 
is also very interested in this kitchen as well. Just more places, and we all, I know, have lots of Nuka-Cola probably on us or somewhere. That is a perfect place to store it. And down here is a nice little wine rack and a little cardboard box to store our fruits and vegetables. I mean, honestly, if this was a house in, you know, kind of, you know, in real life, I would definitely be more than happy to live in a cabin like this. Okay, so over here is uh, some more just storage type of con uh, containers for the magazines and whatnot overdue books. I mean, Lord knows how many overdue books I have on me or find in the Commonwealth. Here is our little room, places to store. Actually, you need to make sure to grab this uh, bunker password because you're gonna need it. So that's kind of step two to open the bunker. So here's a place to store all of our first aid kits, the bobbleheads, which are already kind of nicely lined up that look really great. You can actually change the design of the color for the bed as well if you wanted to. I mean, just everywhere look, I'm amazed just by the level of detail, I can imagine how long this mod took to make. And then also here's another uh, candle with some placeables as well if you want it to. Because I was actually thinking I would like to be able to separate my items more thoroughly and this is definitely the place to do it. But this room looks so cool, I can easily see myself living in a place like this with and just being really happy. And then there's a nice fireplace over here as well you can also activate it with uh, wood which is actually just to the left of it but something important right up here is going to be the shotgun now if you notice we can activate it and then once you do it says the bunker door you know it's like ready to go ready to open so that's like the final step step three and then just some more storage stuff over here and then there is the firewood as well so i've been talking about this bunker so much because there's quite a few steps to open it up that you can easily miss i mean i had to go through this place a couple times too to make sure i covered everything i had to retrace my steps and make sure i did all the necessary steps so here we go we're going to actually open up the shutter here and there's a nice little you know storage area that leads to the underground bunker with just a couple of nice little added things for the eye which i totally appreciate and then if we actually go over to the box click on it and then we can actually get inside of the bunker now because we did all the steps before the three that I just spoke about. They notice here just, you know, a couple, like, kind of just clutter. And then if you look at the ladder, it's like, oh, you can go down. Now we're getting to the really, really, well, everything in this mod is really good, but I really just like this underground bunker. So we grab the password in the cabin. So as you can see here, it's going to unlock the security door. And then once inside, you can see just how many more storage containers there are. And I would definitely store all my first aid stuff here. I just really like how you can just come down here and just get away from everything. And you can see there's a chemistry station right here as well. And just, I just really like the way it looks. I wish I can just break down certain individual parts of this mod and put it in certain settlements in Commonwealth. Then if you open this door right here, it's like, Okay, obviously you can store all your weaponry here. And there is the radio for Diamond City. So if you really like that Diamond City radio, then you can have that sucker going 24 seven, right? Also plenty of places to store your ammunition as well. This is really cool. I noticed over here, if I click the button, you can either move the target to you or away. So if you need to work on your target practice, you can definitely come down in the bunker and work on that if you like. Then we head out here, some more exploration, eye candy. I like it so much. And over here, I just like how you can individually store your different armor components, then divide it by heavy, light, helmets, etc. I think that's a really nice touch. As I was saying a little bit earlier, if you're OCD, like I am, about how you store your items, then this is gonna be a heavenly place for you. It is for me. And then there was a key that those that was on the table right there make sure to grab that because it's going to open up this bunker door then over here are the rest of the crafting stations and storage mini nuke fat man and missiles i mean i do like using a fat man it's pretty satisfying okay so over here you have the armor and weapons bench so you got all the crafting stuff you need down here perfectly nestled away in the bunker and then back over here we have some more storage containers and armor displays 
also in the middle here you can put your melee weapons away now this is really cool so this weapon is telling you or this weapon this message is saying make sure you remove all armor on the mannequins before changing genders because as you can see right here we have a male one so let's use a female one you click a button boom switches how cool is that then over here you have some fancy little lockers to store well more items if you wish to but if you notice just right up here there's another button to activate it once you do look at that another secret place i mean this is one of those places i was exploring and exploring constantly looking around to make sure i didn't miss anything because there's just so much to click on that you're like oh what's next what's next you know so if you're really wanting to get away from everybody like i do sometimes my companions settlements just close that bunker door and leave them all outside like you know what get the hell away from me i need some me time you know what i mean so i really love this mod in my opinion i haven't seen a mod quite like this in some time in my mind this is easily mod of the month maybe even mod of the year i mean just attention to detail everything that you can do as you just saw the bed was up we place it down and like even here power armor stations there's just so everywhere you look i swear there's something new some sort of storage container that it's just i can imagine how long this mod took i absolutely love everything about this mod and i recommend you guys give it a try and if you want to try it, a link for it will be in the description below all right guys this is the end of the video i really want to thank you for watching and if you want to see more fallout 4 reviews please hit that subscribe button and if you enjoyed the video smash that like button all right that's officially it for this one i will see you in the next video